Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Brack and it's D. Watch your reaction to this video. This is Chris Rock's Two Rules for Being in a Relationship. Um, I guess this is when he was on Netflix. I'm not sure which Netflix special this is. I do remember watching a Chris Rock special years ago, um, but I don't think this is the same one. Um, but he be spitting knowledge or whatever. I really like Chris Rock. So let's see what his rules for being in a relationship are. Let's watch. Love hard or get the fuck out, okay? True. You hear me? Oh, this might be the one right I saw. Now, I don't know. If you're in a relationship, all you should be doing is fucking and going places. That's all you should be doing. Having sex and travel. Fucking and going places. You should be coming and going. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's all you should be doing. Okay? People say, oh, relationships are tough. No, they're not. They're only tough when one person's working on it. Right. Mm. Two people can move a couch real easy. That's true. <laughs> One person can't move it at all. That's right. If you're in a relationship, let me let me let me try Listen to help you. Okay, let me try to fucking help you, okay? Okay, first rule, rule one. Stop competing. It's not a fucking competition. Mm -hmm. That's right. Her success is your success, and your success is her success. Stop. Competing. Right. Stop it. Okay. Num number two. Number two. Okay. There is no equality in a relationship. It's like we equals. Ain't not. You're both there to serve. You are in the service industry. Okay. Mm. That's right. When you in a relationship, you're in a band. I don't remember saying this. You're in a Maybe this fucking band. I don't know. And when you're in a band, you have roles that you play in the band. Sometimes you sing lead, and sometimes you're on tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're on tambourine, play it right. Play it right. Hey, you gotta fucking smile. You gotta speak. Because nobody wants to see a mad tambourine player. That's <laughs> right. If you gonna play tambourine, you play that motherfucker right. You play with your ass like tambourine, motherfucker, tambourine, tambourine, motherfucker, tambourine, 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 motherfucker, tambourine, tambourine, motherfucker, tambourine. You play like Tina Turner. That's right. You the bad. It's like Hall and Oates. I don't know what Oates does. <laughs> but Hall never had a hit record without him. I don't know who that is. Uh -oh. Yeah. You want to stay together. How do you stay together? You gotta fuck. <laughs> it's that simple. You got to fuck. <laughs> People are like, oh, when we got together, it was so much fun, but then problems arose. No, they did. Nothing arose. <laughs> Every problem you have today, you had when you met, but you were fucking, so you forgave. And that might be true. That might be true. Right. You knew he didn't do dishes, but he gave you good dick. That was a swell trade, dick for dishes. Dick used to live washing them dick dishes. Oh, not that way, dick dishes. So you knew she couldn't cook, but she licked your balls. I thought he was about to say something. Like, I keep licking balls in. <laughs> you got to fuck. You got to fuck. You got to keep it up. And you got to fuck no matter what mood you in. You got to keep this shit moving. You can't wait for the Holy Ghost to just get you. <laughs> That's right. That's right, ladies. You are you listening to me? And sometimes you gotta suck a melancholy dick. What? <laughs> 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 
That's something about me, though. I don't want to have sex if I'm in a bad mood. Because I can eat pussy in a horrible mood. Yes. I can't believe there's no gas in the car. I hope you ain't pussy looking like that. Oh, y'all can't see it now. I can't believe there's so much mold in the basement. Did I eat pussy on 9-11? I wasn't even fucking on 9-11. Where were you? In class. No, I wasn't in class. I was about to go to class. Did I go to school today? I didn't understand what was happening. I know everybody was upset, and I got that, you know. Anyway, it don't matter. <laughs> I'm even about to get into that. But um, yeah, the reason why I'm not showing the actual video, I've mentioned this in other videos, because they be blocked, especially Netflix. They will block, 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 and this is from Netflix. So not going to show the actual video. I will show a picture of Chris Rock, a nice little picture, you know. But I do agree with him for the most part. I don't think sex can, you know, solve all your problems, obviously, though. I think that you know, it can assist though. It brings more intimacy, you know, between you two. So it brings you closer. So I feel like, you know, having frequent sex is important. I think it's important, but having sex in a bad mood. I know some people do that, but I don't, I, I don't. Don't touch me. Don't look at me if I'm mad. Like I, I don't want, I'm not in the mood. Like my mental is very much so connected to my vagina. So I don't want to have sex if I'm upset or sad, like, no, get away from me. But, you know, maybe I should, you know, reconsider that, you know, because yeah, sex will bring you too closer and I feel like it might brighten my mood if I'm in a bad mood. You know, I gotta try that out, I've never done it. I'm usually like, yeah, get away from me. But maybe, maybe it's something I need to consider. So shout out to Chris Rock for the, for the advice or whatever, I love him. He always has really funny stand up, but at the same time, he's spitting facts, like always. And this is from his Netflix tambourine. That does sound familiar. I think I saw it, or maybe I didn't watch all of it. I don't recall, but I definitely don't recall this segment at all. But I think I might have to check it out. But let me know what you thought though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!